Oh my god, what the hell kind of freaking spawn is that? As you get... Freaking mouse. As you guys can see, we got a controller overlay. So uh, we finally got that set up. And you can also see we're in uh, new gear finally. I don't think I've seen this uh, on a... I don't think I've seen... I don't think I've used this on a video yet. So that's progress. A new gear set, which is... Looks pretty damn good with my bike and everything. I'm, I'm just going to be honest with you guys. But today, 40 hours on MXM. It's been a wild ride of last four weeks. I'm glad that we're kind of like going a little bit slower at it. You know, and not just like like overplaying the game. Um, I think we, we definitely could be overplaying it if we wanted to. But I think we're doing a pretty good job playing only like an hour, maybe two hours a night. I don't really don't want to overplay it either. I want to... I want to get good over time and i think spacing out the time and everything like that will just be way funner compared to just like grinding the the crap out of it for six weeks straight you know like yeah i'm grinding but i'm not like going over the top and like if i don't want to play it i'm just not going to play you know but i have been enjoying my time it's been crazy there's a few things that i've actually learned this week that can help me which uh i got a big give a big big shout out to the boys kells and wash for this so we were playing on monday and Wash was like, yeah, like, the only thing I really noticed from your gameplay is just, you take the corners in too high of a gear. Like, you gotta shift down all the pros and everything to that nature. Like, they always, like, just constantly shift. Oh my god, can I stay alive and talk, please? They just constantly shift down. And, like, I believe they said 450 even goes down to, like, first gear. So try second gear on the 250. But that's one thing I was definitely struggling with. I definitely got to get better at the shifting because I noticed it too. And I know why it's like that is because when I talk, I really don't pay attention to that. I just like try to ride. But I think once I get like the, just the movement down and doing it over and over and over, like the repetitions down, I think it'll just become second nature. I've been trying to practice it, honestly, since he told me about it, trying to just stay in a lower gear in the corners and uh, kind of just focusing on that. And I think it's helped a lot. I think my speed has gotten a lot better, especially in like the corners. I still need to get better entrance speed and all that fun stuff, but I definitely feel like I've gotten um, better. And also, if you guys just watched there, big shouts to my boy Kells for telling me what to do in that situation. He told me that I got to chop the throttle when your back end starts to swap like that. Like, because I was wondering how I was supposed to do that. And he was like, yeah, you just swap your throttle or chop your throttle or keep your throttles like normal. And it will help with like the the swapping and i was like okay cool and i noticed it really really big on bunker hill in that first section after the finish um after i guess like the first corner i guess you would say how do i go down there i'm going oh my god i forgot that i got the reset button on but i noticed it a lot in the bunker hill uh track the swapping and stuff like that so i was like asking him and he was just like yeah do that and it'll help a lot and i've been kind of focusing on that as well those two things this week and i think it's helped a lot a, a lot uh, so big shout out to Kells and Wash for just helping me out with that. Because otherwise, I probably would have caught on to the, like, the gearing and stuff in corners. And probably the swapping. But them just giving me now, it would just help that I don't have to worry about that 60, 80 hours on the road, you know? I can I can focus on that now. And by the 60 or 80 hours mark, like, I'm chilling. I just got to get, I just got to learn the tracks and stuff like that. And just have fun with it. Throw bigger whips and stuff like that. As you guys can see, we're on Southwick. It just released today. I'm going to I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I think it's way easier than freaking Redbud. And I was expecting this thing to be freaking tough. Like, tough. And I think Redbud's worse than this. I think Paula is worse than this. And maybe that's just because I was bad playing those. And I'm just better now. But, oh, as I say that. As I say that. But I don't know. Let me know in the comments how you guys feel about this track. Because I feel like it's kind of easy. I'm having a good time on this. Just even in time trial. Like, I already put down a couple decent laps for my speed don't judge my speed okay don't judge the lap time but i did put down consistent laps or two of them um i've already recorded this video twice now um and each time i ran a faster lap so just know that my lap time isn't that bad okay for me oh god oh god it might be bad it, it low-key might be bad but no i actually really do enjoy this i'm hoping that we can get some lobbies on this uh in the in kazi stream and stuff like that because i think this track would be pretty fun to race with everybody we just did uh we did supercross last night and that was a lot of fun with everybody and then when the night before we did a little bit of the mxgp track um i don't know how to pronounce that but i honestly feel like online lobbies are a lot of fun like when you can have like people in the vc and you're just hanging out and vibing i think that's a lot of fun 
that's a couple of things that I wish that would be easier to determine, like how to get into lobbies and stuff like that. Uh, similar to how bikes have it, like on the main screen. I think that would be nice to have, but I know it's not. It's not going to come in anytime soon, and I'm not honestly too worried about it because I'm just having fun with the game. You know, I've been saying this, but we're just having fun, and it doesn't take more than five minutes to determine what server you're going into. You know, so. It's not that end of the world type of stuff. I wish there was a sound mod though. I do wish that. I wish there was a sound mod. I think everybody would wish that there's a sound mod. But it's not, like I said, not the end of the world. Oh, big whip over the finish. Oh my god, I survived it. Wait, I was trying to do a hot lap just a second ago. And um, yeah, I got all the way to the end of this. End of the freaking like the last section and crashed. I was like, you gotta be shitting me. I couldn't believe I did that. Oh, that outside line is all smooth. We're going to five in this. No, we're not. I just went way too far left. We didn't crash. We didn't crash. I want to say a big shout out to everybody that dropped a like on yesterday's video. That video did really well to start it off. So I just I say thank you guys so much. I'm super, super excited to get some more YouTube content. YouTube content. <laughs> I'm super, super excited to get some more Supercross content. Um, I think that's going to be awesome to play and get for the channel. I think it's going to be freaking sick. So I'm super excited about that. Super polls, races, battles, and everything, dude. I think it's just going to be a lot of fun. I got to figure out what's my next plays uh, video because although we're playing F1 and I, I love playing that, we have videos probably every week for the next like 17 weeks with our league and stuff. I got to figure out what to post next. We posted our only up video, which did pretty damn good. The first one did really good. The second one, about average, about all my other videos. And I know there's a Fortnite only up, so maybe we go give that a shot. I don't really know. Uh, I was watching a couple of people play that. And I think that might be an idea for the Plays channel. Dude, I am so good at this game. Every time I say that, count it. In every video, every time I say that, I'm pretty sure I crash every single time. I can't believe today's already Wednesday. I'm recording this on a Wednesday. I can't believe it's already Wednesday. It's already July. Like, it's already been half the year. Like, it was like just yesterday that we were watching Supercross. Like, A1. Like, where has the time gone? Like, I seriously don't know where the time has gone. It's kind of crazy. Time flies when you're having fun, but man, time flies when you're just doing nothing besides playing video games too, you know what I'm saying? I know I got to post another reactions video. I know I got a lot of them in the in the Discord. I know I got to do that. That's probably, most likely, that'll be like Friday or Saturday, I'm going to say. Um, I know there's a lot too, so we might be splitting it up into like this week and next week. Um, so just know that if I don't get to your video... Then again, I don't post all of them in like the, the YouTube video, but if I don't get to them, just know that there might be another one the next week. Okay, we survived that nice. But yeah, I got to post those. There's a lot that I got to get through since the last time we did it. And I'm super excited. I know I know a lot of you guys have been uh, like up in your game too, which is awesome to see, which is super awesome to see. So I'm super excited about that. Are you guys excited for Southwick this week? I feel like, I, I feel like we might get a new points leader, man. In the 250 class, you know what I'm saying? Like, how bad is Hunter hurt? That's what I want to know. Is it just banged up? Is he just banged up? He'll be fine. Back to his normal pace. Or is that arm injury, that rib injury, going to affect anything? Southwick is a crazy demanding track. You know, it's a demanding track. So, how will his injuries hold up? That's what I want to know. And 450, I mean, will Jack go 1-1? Chase is back. Dylan's looking pretty damn good. Like, will... Will Southwick finally be the track that Jet loses his 1-1 uh, streak, you know? Or loses his winning streak? I think it could be. I really honestly think it could be. I think the rest of the year is going to be fun to watch. I think a lot of the guys are going to be right there with everybody. Now that Dylan's back up to speed, Chase is back. Jet's getting better, but the other guys are also getting better. So it's... Oh my god, this is where I crashed last time in my hot lap. Come on. But yeah, I'm super excited. The 250 class is going to be wild, I think. I think I'll, I think you might see a different winner on on Saturday. Besides RJ, Hunter, Levi, Deegan. I think you might see another winner. Southwick is one of those tracks that anything can happen, you know? So don't be surprised if you see another winner. This is my best lap yet. Come on. I can't die. I can't die. I can't die. 
By two seconds? That's it? I felt like that was like at least five seconds. Is, is a 236 even good? I don't even know. I really have no idea if a 236 is good at all. I don't know if you guys know this. Most of you guys probably do if you guys have been following the channel for a long time. Um, I love anime. A new Attack on Titans, uh, new Attack on Titan preview for the new season just got released. I'm super excited about that. New Jujutsu Kaisen, Jujutsu Kaisen, uh, episode number one of season two, I believe. I believe it's season two is uh getting released today as i record this so i'm super excited about that i'm gonna go watch that but anime has been i think anime has been pretty good this past year demon slayer just finished up which was freaking phenomenal so i'm super excited about the animes coming out too and i don't know about you guys but oh come on i was about to say something about how good i've gotten and i crashed but i really do feel like like i think you guys can see it in the game dude like i feel pretty damn good today like on this game That's three times in one video that I've said I look pretty good and I crash. Do I need to use my clutch more? I feel like I don't use it at all. I don't know if you guys use your clutch as often. Like, in bikes, you never really use your clutch besides, like, the start. Do people use it in sim? Like, I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you guys do. Another thing I got to work on is just committing to the ruts. That'll come over time, but that's one thing I got to just focus on. It's just don't... Don't lean back up in the rut until like you know that it's safe to do if that if that makes any sense. I feel like I'm leaning up too early instead of just like leaning over and hitting the rut full speed. I don't know how to explain it, but I think adding that plus with what adding that plus with what wash. Oh my god, that's really hard to say. Uh what he told me about shifting down, I think it's gonna help a lot. Okay, okay, that's not anybody's fault, man. I hit the rut and it had a kicker in it, dude. What? Dude, I feel so good on sand tracks. I don't know what it is. Even on, like, bikes, I felt really good on sand tracks. Like, Llama was probably my favorite track in bikes. Llama was probably my favorite track in bikes. And I did really well on that GP race. So, I mean, I don't know what it is with sand tracks. I can't ride sand to save my life in real life. But in video games, I'm pretty good. You know what, you know what time it is? Oh, crap. I got to go all the way around. It's time to set a hot lap. All right. I'm gonna try to five this though. Oh, you can definitely five that on a 450, 100%. Why did I like lean back in my own chair? I don't know. I gotta be at a 236. I, I feel like we can do that. Oh my God, my ghost is pretty freaking quick though, dude. What? Okay, this outside line is way faster. If I can get to it. No. No. No shot. 